The people of Gaza are not asking where is Allah, but they are asking where are you? They are asking where are the rulers of the Muslims? They are asking where is this so-called ummah of two billion people? They are asking where is this political and military and economic strength that you supposedly have? They are asking where are these people that supposedly love Masjid Al-Aqsa and that follow a Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam whose first Qibla was Masjid Al-Aqsa and who was taken from Mecca to Al-Aqsa to lead the Prophets in prayers and Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala sanctified that place. They're asking where you are, they're not asking where Allah is. They're asking where the leaders are, they're not asking where the Creator is. They understand that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala has tested them in a mighty moment and they have a direct connection with Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. They perceive Allah under the airstrikes. They perceive Allah through the hunger. They perceive Allah through the tears as they bury their loved ones. They perceive Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala even as they see the most beloved of people to them torn up into different limbs. They perceive the presence of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala, but they feel the absence of the Ummah.